Hi Southbridge, this is Max Gullickson and I'm here at South Beach Community Television at 41 Elm Street, the site of so many shows that me and my friends here have produced for the town. Now starting with the town council meetings, which are a very important way for you to get info on local stuff, and we produce those. We produce them during the COVID on the uh, remote meetings that we're also used to seeing now. And prior to that, we had them live here in the council chambers and we're hoping to get back to that soon. But it's so much more than the town council meetings that we produce here. We have in this studio right here, we've had several guests that we've talked to about things that are interesting to you, the citizens of Southbridge. Why don't we take a look back on some of the ones that we produced here in our studio. Many of you regular Southbridge viewers have watched as we interviewed our local head librarian, Margaret Morrissey, on the many goings on at the Southbridge Library. More on those in a minute. It's great to have Margaret in to promote the musicians and others who do programs at the library. Just like it's good having the Southbridge Gateway Players Theater Group come in and describe upcoming plays, like when they came in to promote the Savannah Sipping Society and other plays they produce locally. And in addition to our local library and the theater group, we've had other great shows right here in the studio. We talked to Anna about recycling, and we talked to Judy about the Southbridge Autumn Fest. There was the time Renata stopped by to inform us all about the farmer's market down in the Globe every Saturday during the summer in the parking lot of Big Bunny Market. How about the time Freema came by the studio to show his mural depicting the hurricanes in Puerto Rico? And Larry Day comes in and spins a few records from back in the day. You know, when there were records. We also help others do shows here in our studio. We have Chairman Chats, where Jack talks to people about issues concerning them so that the viewers on Charter Spectrum can stay up to date on community issues. And it's not just interviews. John McHugh and his friends on America's Front Porch like to come in and regale us with songs from Rustic America and other genres of stringed music. One time Mike Marchetti brought in a mystery guest and it turned out to be Representative Richard Neal who gave great insight into the federal government exclusively to viewers of Channel 194 right here in Southbridge. But as much fun as it is to produce shows right here in our studio, taking it out there, you know, out of the building, is where we really get to mix it up with our community of Southbridge. Why don't we take a look back at some of the shows that we produced here in our town for the people of Southbridge. We've done shows about races along Everett Street and people all cheering the runners they meet. We film Earth Day events where from what we can glean is a gathering of folks who make the town clean. The signs around town we've turned into a show. And Christmas in Southbridge with Santa, ho ho, with plays on the common a theatrical treat and handball courts for players to meet. There are shows about sock hops at the Senior Center. And yoga with Jasmine to make you feel better. The fire department had their open house. Bring your children, bring your spouse. And for another more solemn occasion, we remember Twin Towers at our fire station. To the town's reservoir we went filming one time and they showed us clean water, not mud and not slime. We talked to a fellow, an Eagle Scout, whose final project he told us about. We had Wanderings with Mara and a Latin art exhibit. The pictures of our town are many, more than just a snippet. The time we filmed the recycling station and learned about trash and recyclation. The Cops and Kids program did a summertime show with kids eating burgers and slipping and so. Friends, can we talk about music for a minute? Because that's something we here at Southbridge Community Television really like to film. 
How about the concerts at the Common? Do you remember the Island Castaways Band? Or how about Pabon Salsa bringing in the summer night? Scud Farkas stopped by and we were there to film it. And if you like music, how about the numerous musical guests that perform at our library? Were you there for Banjo Blue? We were for a show of Americana that we brought to our local viewers. How about Dale LePage and friends? Great entertainment for not only the library crowd, but also those who watch it on Channel 194. The library was also the site of so many other programs we produced here. There was a show about the Bullard Collection, a collection of photos of African Americans in Worcester at the turn of the 20th century. We filmed Dino Tata giving a discussion about NASA with interesting facts pertaining to. We learned all about the Hoyt running chairs and the famous Hoyt family who run marathons. These are just a handful of the shows that we've been able to film at our local library. Then there are the times we get way out, like when Maureen and I hiked for a few days and took pictures and that became a show. Folks, we've done a number of things here in our studio and in our community that in the way of promoting our town through video. I'd like to take this moment to thank Charter Spectrum and the Southbridge Town Council and particularly the people of Southbridge who have been the greatest fans and our greatest critics and our, our greatest uh, recommenders of new shows on things that we should be doing. Thank you, thank you to all of you. Southbridge is a great town, honest town as you know if you've been here for a while. So to Charter Spectrum and to the Southbridge Town Council and especially to our friends in Southbridge all up and down our beautiful little Dale here. Thank you very much for watching Southbridge Community Television and it is our earnest hope to keep bringing you more shows into the future. This is Max Gullickson on behalf of Jim and Mark and Bill signing off from Southbridge Community Television.